What's up, Genesis students? It is awesome to see you guys here on our online platform. We are excited to dive into the word with you guys. And man, we've been praying for you. We're praying for you guys and your safety um, around the, our health situations uh, with the cases that are in our area. Uh, we're praying for you guys spiritually as we continue to grow as a group. We're praying for you guys relationally as even though we're on an online platform, we still have opportunities for you guys to connect face to face. And so, man, this week, I want you guys to uh, make sure you know if you haven't seen already tomorrow night we are having a guys night here at the church and then on Friday night we're having a girls night here at the church and so both the nights both of those nights are gonna be fun for you guys to be able to come here and connect with your friends it's gonna be an awesome time both nights are gonna be special both nights are gonna have a lot of fun activities and so you don't want to miss it you guys are gonna to want to be here so make sure guys come out tomorrow night girls come out on Friday night it's going to be a blast well, tonight, um, enough about what's happening in the future. Let's focus on what we're going into and diving into tonight. So we are continuing on in our Summer of Psalm series. And tonight we're going to be diving into Psalm chapter 19. And I'm really excited about this message. I'm excited about what God is going to do through this message and about how the Holy Spirit is just going to illuminate things to you guys um, and how we're going to continue to grow in our faith together. So before we dive into the word, would you do me a favor? Would you bow your head? Would you close your eyes as we humble ourselves in prayer? Father, we love you. We humble ourselves before you in this place. God, right now, with all reverency, with all respect, Lord, we put our eyes and our attention and our hearts focus on you right now in this moment. God, I pray for everyone that is listening. Lord, that you would just open up our hearts to prepare and receive from you. Father, that as we read and dive into your word, that you would just be able to illuminate every one of our eyes every one of our ears, that you would just open up things and, and reveal things to us that we haven't seen before, that each and every one of us would just be able to continue to grow in our faith together. So, Father, be with us as we go on tonight. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done, and let you, may you receive all the honor and all the glory. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if you have your Bibles, would you open up to Psalm chapter 19? Um, as we read together, we'll dissect a few things, and I'm just excited to see what God's going to do through this message. And so, Psalm chapter 19, uh, we're going to jump in on verse 7, um, which it says this, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the simple wise. We're just going to stop there for a second because right here, when we jump in on verse 7, it says that the law of the Lord is perfect. Meaning that the law of the Lord is perfect. It's not going to change. It doesn't have to change. It's perfect. It's complete. But not only that, the law of the Lord being perfect revives our souls. I don't know how many of you out there that are watching this message just need revival in your soul. There's circumstances that are coming. There's circumstances that are going. And you're, you just need a revival in your soul. Well, can I tell you that if you just lean into the law of the Lord, if you follow his commandments, because later on it says in verse 8 right here, the precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, meaning that the Lord's instructions are right. The Lord's instructions are perfect. The Lord's instructions are complete. And when we follow in the Lord's instructions, when we lean into his precepts, it makes our heart rejoice. We receive in our heart a joy that only comes from the Lord. At the end of tail end of verse eight, it says, the commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening our eyes. Again, when we walk according to his commandments, according to how we're called to live by this word, when we walk according to that, our eyes are enlightened. Our eyes are opened up to things we have never seen before. Our ears are opened up to things we've never heard before. And we're able to do ministry. We're able to live a life that is reflecting Christ. All the while, while he's opening our eyes, enlightening our eyes, reviving our soul, making our hearts rejoice 
because of the satisfaction that we have in our salvation through Jesus. If we jump down, and this is where I wanna spend the majority of our time tonight, and jump down to verse 12 where it says this, that who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servants also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. And then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Now there's a lot of big words here. And we're right here in verse 13 where it says, keep back your servant also from presumptuous sin. That just means presumptuous sin is when you know you're about to sin and you have knowledge that what you're about to do is sin and you go ahead and do that anyway. That's called presumptuous sin. You have knowledge of what you're doing. You know you're about to enter into sin, but you're gonna do it anyway. Paul in, in, in Romans chapter six states that, should we sin so that grace may abound? Knowing that when if, if I sin, if I step into this, I know God's gonna cover me with grace, so I'm just going to abuse it. And Paul says, by no means, don't do that. So earlier we read that when we, when we lead into his, his laws and we lead into his commandments and his precepts, he, we, he makes us wise, he enlightens us. And the main message that I wanna get to you guys and get across to you guys tonight is that the Lord is our perfecter. That no one watching this, not even myself who is speaking and declaring this message, not one of us is perfect. And yet, he is our perfecter. So every single one of us sins. Every single one of us goes, a, not, no one goes a day without sinning. No one goes a day walking this earth being perfect. But yet when we lean into Jesus, when we follow his commands, when we lean into his instructions, he makes the simple wise. He counts us and perfects us. God sees us as his daughters, as his sons. And now we have an inheritance in Christ. And so what I wanna get across to you tonight is, yes, when we lean into God, when we lean into his commandments, when we lean into his instructions, he's our perfecter. But I wanna challenge you because it can be easy to start to abuse God's grace. It can be easy to get ourselves into sticky situations that we know we could have prevented. We know we could have told our girlfriends goodbye at a decent hour and not stayed in the car too long. We know we could have given a, a positive and uplifting word to our friend and to our brothers and sisters in Christ instead of beating them up with our words and tearing them down. We know we could have done fill in the blank. We know we couldn't do these things, but too often we can find ourselves acting in those things anyway and abusing the grace knowing that if I do this, I know that God is going to forgive me. And so I wanna encourage you tonight, lean into his laws, lean into his commandments, his instructions, because he is our perfecter. So don't abuse his grace that he has given to us as a free gift through salvation, but instead, Lean into his word, lean into his love, lean into his grace, not knowingly sinning, but doing everything we can to walk according to the ways and the lifestyle that we have been called to live. And the only way you know how to find that is in his word. So dive into it, dive into it. Man, I'm excited for you guys as we continue on in our journey together. And I just pray over each and every one of you that as we continue on in our life, as we continue on in our walk, that we would lean into his word, we would lean into his love, and we would lean into his grace and try to keep ourselves from knowingly sinning. Man, I'm excited to be with you guys over the next couple weeks online. May God bless you and keep you, and we will see you next week.